All right, y'all, there's been an update. Finally get that new course we've been excited about and a couple other things. So just going to go through some of the updates real quick and not spend a lot of time on them. And I'm going to do my first run at the new course and see how we do. So first things first, I think the big thing that people were excited about was the, the new bags. So you can see you have a starter bag, a rookie bag, and an elite bag. So no extra slots, unfortunately, still the same amount. You got to buy for the rookie and elite. You got to buy each of the slots. Not each of them. I think some of them are there, but I can't remember. But it does take a lot of coin to get all these bags filled. So I, I went ahead and moved my main bag to the elite bag. And then I'm going to have my rookie bag be the daily challenge bag for me. And then starter bag. Just, just filled it up with some kind of some old school discs, pink and black. So that's what I did. I don't think it'll... I won't get a whole lot of use out of that other than have my main bag and then my, my daily challenge bag. And the other thing is a couple more uh, player packs, team series. We got Isaac Robinson and Alden Harris. I'm um, not sure if I'm going to, I haven't looked into them enough. I think that Archive is similar to a Warship. The Spectrum X1 is a very, very, very overstable distance driver that could be a fun utility skip disc to have. Then Alden Harris, there's a, a putter, the PA1, that it seemed more like a harp, like pretty overstable. And then uh, the fairway, the Spectrum FX2, um, maybe like a glory or <clears throat> musket or something. I don't think it's as long as the, the sapphires are, but I haven't spent a whole lot of time with those. That's just my, my really quick assessment of the new discs available in the players packs. So those are the kind of the main updates. Oh, also in the pro shop, Looks like they're gonna give us a little more variety in the, the discs. So pretty excited about that. Maybe we'll see better discs popping up. Um, looks like all the same discs that have been rotating through the multiplayer level ups. So that, that's nice to see, that's a nice update. But let's get to it. Challenge the Valley, the new course, all the way at the bottom, Northern Breeze. So I, from what I hear, it's not the most difficult course, but hey, it's a new course and I'm excited for it. Uh, one star, you get the shield, accurate glide. Two stars, you get the felon, glide skip. Could be a fun disc, but it's not accurate. And then the third star, you get that light glide king. It could have some potential. And then the two badges, haven't looked into them yet, but there's a for whom the bell tolls. And gnome sweet gnome. None of neither worth a bunch of coins, but it might be uh I don't know, some of them might be different levels. We'll we'll have to see later on. Well let's get to it. Let's see uh, how we do. Again, this is on the Northern Lights course just during the day. Um if you haven't yet, check out Greg's uh <clears throat> link to meet the courses. Awesome link. I use it all the time, but he's got this one already on there. A couple holes of, of how to play it. Um, so anyway, here we go. Oh, shoot. I'm going to exit out because I don't want to play this bag. That's a that's a danger of having multiple bags. Forgot to show you that. So up here in the top middle, you can click which bag you're going to go for. So if you've changed bags recently, be sure you click the one you want before you get into the round. So here we go. Hole one. we got a Par 3, 264, looks like it's just kind of straight. I'm going to slide to the right here. Wonder, I don't know if it's better. Can't tell if there's water down there. Might be better going over the top. But we're going to try to just do 264. Again, I haven't played any of these holes yet, so it's going to be interesting. Go, I'm going to go with the, actually I'm going to go with the instinct over the top. Let's see how that goes. Let's try to drop it in there. Not, oh man, that's an island there. Not too bad for my first throw though. Looks like, I can't tell if that's ice or water all around it. So I don't know how risky that is as far as running it or not. But there we go. We got a birdie on the first hole. Excited to play around with these holes a little bit. 329. I think this is one of the ones that Greg had a video on, so I'm going to go ahead and go with that. I think he threw the sapphire. I'm going to go with the accurate roll sapphire. I think he slid to the right and aimed 
I think it was the top chevron on this tree and just tried to kind of slam it into the wall over there by the you know, a little bit of a headwind see how we do here too much Oof. that did not go as planned stuck up top here Let's see what we can do I'm gonna try to put it it's gonna be interesting kind of around the world type putt but from way up here, I don't know how this is going to go. Got to aim way down. Hey, tap in par. <laughs> that would have been sweet to make that, but there's hole two, hole three. What do we got? Par three, 365, left to right. So, 365. And go with the accurate roll just try to do a big hyzer around here i think that's going to be i don't know we'll find out got a big wind so hopefully it'll take it and go Ooh, i don't like the looks oh that's not bad not bad for the first shot tap in birdie so just a big wide forehand hyzer with the accurate roll sapphire Hole number four, 518, so a long, oh, par four. Looks like it's just pretty straight. I'm just gonna, actually with this wind, yeah, let's just go glide turn, try to keep it right in that tunnel there. See how this works. Stay left of the trees. It's gonna catch them. Darn it! It's a pretty tight gap there. You got to hit it just right. There might be some some lines around the, the left or right, but two two fifteen. Let's throw the harp up there. See, we have a shot at eagle. Pretty easy birdie hole, I'm sure once you get the line down, it's definitely gonna be a, a hole to eagle. Oh never mind, that's a par three. Holy smokes. I don't know why I thought it was a par four. So tough birdie hole unless you hit that line just right, but we'll hole five. I think I can't remember what I think this is the other hole Greg had a video for, and if I remember he threw the light glide, which seems like a lot of discs. This must be pretty elevated. I'm gonna slide to the left. I think he just said throw it up here and just put a little bit of hyzer on it and then let it find its way up by the by the basket. There's the basket. Am I short? Oh, not too bad. 49 feet. Throw that. Looks like you gotta climb these ladders to get to the next hole. That's pretty sweet. All right, 49 feet. Got our birdie. Have we rotated birdie par, birdie par? So far, let's see if we keep that going. So there's only two holes he had videos on, but we'll, so the rest of this is gonna be a surprise to me. 295, looks like it kind of hugs the right side of this cliff the whole way. Definitely don't wanna go down there on the train. Looks like it's uphill. Just wanna definitely take plenty of disc. I'm gonna, let's try this sapphire, accurate glide. Not a big forehand hyzer. Actually, make sure I have plenty of disc and just do a high one with the glide roll. Might be too much, but we'll find out. Get in there. Oh, nice little ace run. I don't know if the sapphire would have been enough. Maybe barely, but that was. I, I like that high safer play with the. I think once people get that that line down, that's going to be. I'll hold a lot of people ace. So we got two birdies in a row. We got 682, our, our first par four here. So I don't see any mandos. I wonder, that looks pretty tall. I can't tell if that mountain's before. I'm just gonna try to play the way it's designed to be played before I start taking any big shortcuts. Well, let's just throw a big forehand glide skip see if we can just curve it around here no idea what this fairway looks like 
Oh no. No, get out of the water. Shoot. Oh man, that's a helpful drop zone there. <laughs> so throw a bad shot and you still got a, a chance at birdie maybe. See if we can make it through these trees. It's the warship. Get in there. Oh, we almost made it. So that seems like a fun hole. I'm excited to figure out lines on this. First, first time through is always a challenge. Not playing bad. We haven't got a bogey yet, so that's not too bad. 384, I can't tell. Looks like it's behind those trees there. Par three. I think we're gonna try maybe a forehand sapphire around the edge there. Little flex. Let's try that accurate glide sapphire. Right through the trees into the water. No. Okay. So probably need a little more disc there, but we got a birdie look. Downhill, got to be careful here. Got our birdie, so that looks like it. There's some danger behind the basket there. You can see the Northern Lights hole across the way. I'm excited, new course, 589 or 598. So it looks like there's only one par four on this course. This is a long par three, wow. 598. Let's just do glide roll because I'm not sure how far this is going to carry. It looks like you just want to kind of hyzer it over through those houses. And so here we go. This is just kind of a high glide roll ride. Sure, it's downhill. Come on, more hyzer, more hyzer. Nice. Oh, shoot. Whew. Oh, we got lucky. We can tell what hole this is. Oh, it's out of bounds. <laughs> so what is the OB line? Is that? So we're on the drop zone, but it's, I think the OB line is right here. So you can't go too far. Fun little hole there. 72 feet per par to complete my bogey free round. See if I can do it. Nice. So there you go. There's the first run through of Northern Breeze, five under par, not too shabby. Hopefully at least get us one star. I'm not sure if it'll be good enough for two stars, but we'll find out. Two stars, not too bad. We got the shield and the felon, beautiful winter felon, glide skip. I gotta get a 19, so I needed to be, I barely got two stars. So I needed four strokes better for that three stars. But there you go, guys. That's the first introduction to Northern Breeze. Good luck. I wonder if it's showing up in multiplayer yet. But that'll be a fun little addition to the multiplayer game. And as always, guys, appreciate you watching me play some DGV.